now the worst of Matthew affecting the Carolina coastline. Richard Neal is live in Southport, North Carolina, just south of Wilmington. Of course, that area under a hurricane warning. Uh, Richard Neal operates the Frying Pan, which is a former Coast Guard station turned bed and breakfast. Uh, good morning to you, Richard. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. How are you doing this morning? Okay, I can actually see you on Skype right now. Uh, so how are the conditions there? How has the night gone so far? Uh, well, actually, it was a pretty good night. Had uh, popcorn in a movie earlier, you know, not putting down anybody that's suffering on the coast, but uh, this big old secure facility, we were doing great. Looking at that angry ocean behind you, though, how many people are staying at the bed and breakfast? Well, I'll be honest with you. I didn't want any guest out here per se, so it's just myself and my fiance, and um, for good reason. We didn't know whether or not this was going to get bigger into a three or just stay at two or less. So we only have about 16, 18 foot waves right now. Have you ever had to kind of turn people away in the past? Yes, certainly, absolutely. We have to make sure that we keep everybody safe. Uh, the Coast Guard was very clear to us. They said, if you go out there, you're on your own. We're going to help the people that really need it. So. Right, and ironically, that is a former Coast Guard station where you are right now. How strong would you say the winds are right now, and what's your power situation? Well, we live off of solar and wind power, but uh, even our turbines are not really rated for quite this much. So we're running off a small generator and battery banks. And to give you an idea of the wind, uh, what I get back around the corner. Hopefully, I didn't lose you. Oh. So we probably have uh, pretty heavy gusts. Would you say tropical storm gusts out there? Because we've had reports of hurricane gusts right along the coastline as well. I would say every bit of that. Um, we don't have our wind meter because it blew off. So um, we've been pretty strong. We had some huge gusts that are tearing through here, but uh, other than a little shaking, we're doing great. And what direction are we looking at? I know you're south of Wilmington, North Carolina. I'll point you directly towards the south. Okay. And now we're swinging over towards the west. So all these huge waves are heading right over towards uh, the uh, Oak Island, Southport. How far, off, how far off the coast would you say you are, just for reference? Uh, we are 34 miles out in the middle of the ocean, technically outside of the United States, but uh, still proud to fly the American flag. Okay, interesting, because, you know, those hurricane force winds do extend out about, oh, 40 miles or so from the center of the circulation, which is kind of hugging the coastline down towards South Carolina. So it's not quite reached you yet. Uh, we hope you stay safe out there, Richard. Thank you so much for joining us and showing us that angry ocean right there from your vantage point. We really do appreciate your time this morning. Uh, right now, though, we want to get back.